Good morning, Lionel. Nice to have you in our office today to discuss something that is serious, buddy. I believe you knew this day was coming. Just look at him, Mr. Gold. He's a one in a million guy. We got ourselves a real sucker. I mean, a real great guy. My wife say hello, by the way. She always ask about you. She say you remind her of Will Smith. Well, tell her I said hello. She's a lucky gal to have a great guy like yourself. And tell her I said thanks for the compliment. Will Smith is a handsome guy and a real star. And you're our star, big guy. Lionel, do you know why you are here? Do you have a clue? I think I have a clue. I think it's graduation time for me to advance to the next level. The level of being the king of my throne. Well, today is a special day, Lionel. We're proud of you, buddy. Thanks, guys. I'm ten seconds away from doing jumping jacks right now. I feel like jumping through the ceiling. Because I know this news is going to be like fireworks. Have a seat, Lionel. This will only take a few minutes. Okay. Today, my friend. Me and Mr. Gold want to promote you to be plant manager of Alan Shields. What do you think about that, Lionel? And we know how much you love working here in this location, Lionel. But we have another offer for you as well. Are you ready to hear it? Yes, guys. You damn right I'm ready to hear it. Lay it on me like a freaking blanket. Mr. Gold and I would like for you to work at one of our newest buildings. It's located about 10 miles away from this location. You'll be in charge of the entire plant. I don't know what to say, guys. I'm speechless. You guys are awesome. And that's with a capital A. Man. I love you guys more than life itself. I would be honored to work at the new location. And I promise you guys that I'll take care of the new building as well as I took care of this building. That's what we like to hear. A hard-working man that shows gratitude. This has already been the highlight of my career, Mr. Golden, Mr. Sampson. How can I repay you guys? You can repay us by doing a great job of plant manager, and that's all we ask, buddy. Hey, guys. You can count on me. I'll be like Joe Clark in the movie Lean on Me. I'll guarantee a spotless atmosphere. There will be no lazy asses under my watch. Oh yeah, we almost forgot to mention Lionel, that you have just received a $65,000 pay raise. What? Oh man. I think I'm going to faint. Please don't do that, pal. We need. Wow. This clown just fainted right in front of us. Should we call the ambulance, Mr. Gold? No. Just let him lay there and dream a little bit. He's just happy, that's all. Miss Shirley may come by the office and wake him up. Come on, Samson, let's go get us some lunch. I'm right behind you, Mr. Gold. I'm starving. By the way, I think we got ourselves a real sucker. He's the ass kisser we always wanted. And I just want to shake your hand, Gold, for being the mastermind behind this whole thing. Great job, buddy. Likewise. Come on, I'm hungry. Me too. Let's eat. Hey Lionel. Come over here for a second and let me tell you something. This will only take a minute. What is it Mr. Sampson? I'm over here getting my mind right for the big day tomorrow. Look Lionel. Things are about to get crazy around here and I need you to look out for shading as that's going on. What's going on, Sampson? What is this concerning? Are you and Mr. Gold alright? Let's just say people grow apart Lionel. When you work for somebody for too long, you begin to bump heads and disagree on certain things. You catch my drift. I guess so, Samson. Look, I hope whatever you two have going on, don't affect me. I have a family I need to take care of, and I can't afford to lose I my totally job. I totally understand, Lionel. This won't affect you. Trust me. This is just something that me and Gold have to work out. I just hope the old man doesn't try to get rid of me. He won't get rid of you, Samson. He needs you. He's getting too old to run this company himself. He can't afford to lose you. Well, let's hope so, Bobby. Look, Lionel, you're going to do great as plant manager. Don't worry. Just relax and take it easy. I have your back if Mr. Gold doesn't. What do you mean? If Mr. Gold doesn't? Do you know something I don't, Mr. Sampson? No, Bobby. Everything's okay. Just go back to doing what you were doing earlier. I'm so proud of you, my man. Now go home and tell your wife about you being promoted to plant manager. I will, Samson. Thank you guys again for the perfect day. I'm going back to my office to do some more paperwork. Good day, Samson. Good day, champ. Go out there and make us proud, Bobby. I will. 
See you tomorrow, Samson. I'm brighten up a little bit. You and Mr. Gold will work out any issues you guys have. He's falling right in our trap. Poor Lionel. What a lost puppy. He has no idea what's about to happen to him. I hope his wife has a job. Because she's going to need one. What do you mean my dog died? I just bought it last week. What happened to it? Did it have ringworms? Oh, I see. Okay, well, can I get a refund? Shit, that dog cost me $8,000. Hey, Mr. Gold. Did you want to see me? Damn it. My phone just died. Everything is just freaking cheap these days. I'll call my wife back. Lionel, my man. I did want to see you. I saw you and that Mr. Sampson over there talking and it seems like I heard him say something about me. Now listen Lionel, don't trust that two-timing snake. That long life, son of a you know what, has been a torn in my butt for the past five years and I had it up to here with him. Now, what did he say and please don't lie to me Lionel. Oh he said that he's glad to have you as a partner sir. He said that he wouldn't be a rich man if it wasn't for you, Mr. Gold. Is that right? Yeah. That's right. Okay, whatever you say. Now, Lionel, I have to get to an important Skype meeting in about 30 minutes. Me and my longtime friend, Mr. FD, is talking about important matters involving Alan Shields, and this is a critical meeting we're having. You catch my drift. Okay. Well, I got to head back over to the office and do some more paperwork. You just go right ahead and do that, Lionel. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning over at the new location. Don't work too hard now. I won't, Mr. Gold. See you tomorrow. Look, FD, make sure you mention to Mr. Gold that you want to buy that business from him. I'm pretty sure if you give him the right price, he'll sell Alan Shields. And when it's all said and done, it will be a win-win situation for all of us. Thanks, FD. Goodbye. Good morning, Betty. There you are. I've been looking all over for you. Now hang tight and stay close around because I want to introduce you to your brand new plant manager, Lionel Thompson. Where's the little guy at? I want to meet him so I can shake his little hand and crush his knuckles. I bet I can just break him in half with one punch. He'll be here in any second now. Just be patient. Great. I just stick around so you can introduce me to him. Great. I'm so excited. This is going to be something that I'll never forget. Lionel's in for a big treat, and the old guy is falling right in my trap. Mr. Gold is one stupid old man. Come on, Betty. Let me take you over to meet Lionel and the old buzzard, Mr. Gold. That fool's so old that if he sneezes wrong, he'll be right in the graveyard. Come on, let's go. I'm right behind you.